everybody. Welcome back to Missy's Imaginings. So I'm not sure what the quality of this will be. Um, my good camera died. So now I am using one of my old little cameras and uh, it's giving me issues and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, none of my cameras work. <laughs> but I have one on order. It's going to be here next week. So hopefully that'll be an improvement. So, but in the meantime, uh, we're using this little guy. So what we're doing today is I've posted some pictures on Facebook and I posted the pattern already on the website so it's there for you at missysimaginings.com and it's to make one of these cute little uh, doll cases so it's like a little doll suitcase briefcase purse attache uh, whatever you want to call it but it's using a leftover or emptied uh, chewing gum case which they're just a clear um, plastic case and once the chewing gum is all gone you pull out the little label insert that holds the gum and you're left with this cute little clear plastic box and I thought oh, there's got to be a use for these <laughs> right so I thought about it and thought about it and thought how could we do this and my prototype was the first one that's what's in the photos and I used um, a faux leather vinyl covering to cover this little box and I used tacky glue the Aline's tacky glue is what I used then there's also some little decorative brads that are actually for scrapbooking that's where I got uh, the little decorative brads these are from a company called hot off the press here in Oregon they have uh, their actual warehouse and their company is based here and so in the old days we would go twice a year to their warehouse sale and I have all kinds of treasures from there. It was really fun. So I have these decorative brads. I also use two brads on each side to glue and hold the handle in. I simply uh, put some holes in the plastic. Um, you can use uh, a piercing tool and then a real small little screwdriver, like Phillips style tiny screwdriver to kind of twist and make the hole in the plastic so you can get the little feet of the, of the brads in and then open them inside which looks like this. A couple things to note. On this case, I did actually hem some of the edges. So the front edge on the bottom and the lid, and then also the edge that folds from the back and folds from the front on the, on the lid are hemmed. And so you'll see that in the pictures, what it looks like once I hem those before I glue it on. If you have a fabric or covering that doesn't fray at all, you might want to just trim off that hem step and not do it because it does add a little bit of bulk. So I have two colors that I'm going to try putting together using the finalized pattern. Where the little dotted lines are is where that would actually fold over there we go, and hem if you wanted that hem. If you don't, you could just cut along the line and cut that hemming allowance off and not use it. So the green one, I've actually cut that allowance off of the piece because I'm not going to hem the green one. It's pretty thick and it would, it would add kind of some bulk. So I wanted to try one without hemming and then this yellowish color one is thinner and so I'm going to go ahead and hem those. So I'll go ahead and put these together and uh, then I'll check back with you at the end and uh, we'll compare how these look once this one's hemmed and this one isn't using the brand new pattern. But it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, all I did was glue on the, the back and here we'll wrap it around there and you're just going to wrap, you know, wrap it around and glue it on and then fold in the little tabs. I fold the front end first, the back second, and then on here fold the middle one down and fold it over. And it's just going to be gluing it on. So it's pretty basic, pretty simple. It was just a fun way to take advantage of using these. So anyway, I'll go ahead and put these together. I'll edit in the steps and a couple of the photos I took so you can see those steps and then we can compare our end results when we get all finished. So I will see you at the other side of the video.
So here are our two little cases. We have the yellow one, which I use the brad that has kind of a little triangle thing here going. So I use that on the sides to hold the long handle. And then of course those are open inside and then small ones for the small handle. So let's see if we can see if it'll show. There we go. That kind of shows in there. So that's the, the yellow case with the top stitching on the sides and the front. And then I did sew the, the handle so that it'll stay. And then I did sew the handle of the green case, but I did not sew on the case itself. There was a little bit of trimming I did in here. I ended up trimming a little bit of this tab and a little bit of this uh, top corner. Uh, once you get it on your case, you'll kind of see if you need to trim. And then I did trim a little bit off the edges of these little tabs and took a little bit deeper. But when you're wrapping it, you'll be able to see just where you kind of need to snip and do a little adjustment. But there you go. So there's a couple little cases for you to try. And I hope you have wonderful success and happy sewing. And I'll see you next time.